Me. School shouldn't be a war zone. It's so hard to send your kids to school and thinking they're gonna make it back home. <laughs> when I was in school, we had fire drills. Now, instead of fire drills, they have shooting drills. Shootings are more common in America than school fires. So I applaud schools for doing that, for teaching their kids gun safety, or not gun safety, but what to do in a situation like this. Because sadly, there is way more school shootings than there are school fires, and that's what they need to be educated on. I also believe kids should be getting self-defense classes because a lot of kids get assaulted in or out of school. It could be by anyone. It could be by another student, a staff member, anybody. But you also have to live and live a normal life, but always check on everybody. Check on the people you love. Check on everyone, you know? I've always done that even before all this violence to happen. You know, if I don't hear from, from someone, I check on them, because people need people. But anyways, I can rant forever about this violence. Um, it doesn't get anywhere because sadly, it's gonna continue happening. You can put all the security in the world in a school. I mean, I do think they can use more security, not just one SRO officer per school, but it's probably never gonna happen. We probably will never see that. Uh, putting fences and gates probably won't stop somebody when they know they're gonna go kill. Why would a fence stop anybody? I mean, they don't care to break the law of trespassing when they're about to go do a mass shoot. So that won't really do anything. And... And never show hate. Always be nice to everyone. I'm always nice to everyone. Even if someone's rude to me at a store, you know, if someone doesn't hold the door open for me, I'll still hold the door open for the next person behind me. Because you can prevent something from happening with showing a little bit of love. Love will always, always be the right answer. Hate is always what has caused bad acts anywhere, not just in America, but in humanity. It's always been hate. Hate has always started everything that goes wrong. So always be nice to everybody. I'm always nice. It's easier to be nice to people than to be mean to people. And so, Always show an act of kindness, you know? If you can do something like, you see someone struggling on the street, if you have something to give them, give them something. You don't know if you're changing that person's life, they, you know, you don't know what a person's going through. So, always be kind. Always help someone out if you can. And it'll come back to you. It really will. Anyways, what happened today was absolutely horrible. It happened yesterday, actually. And more details come out about what happened sucks I don't want to know the details it sucks what happened I hate seeing pictures because I can relate to everybody I have nephews nieces you know younger siblings and it could have been anyone we just think it's not real because it's on TV but it's real and it's happening so always Tell everybody how much you love them and value the people you have around you and never take anything for granted Don't take life for granted. You know wake up every day. I always thank God when I see the Sun come out. I say another day like Simply another day is so much. It's so much value everything everything is Something to be happy for and make sure you teach your kids, your nephews, and everyone around you about safety. School isn't the only source of learning. You should teach them at home. A school shouldn't teach your kid how to survive. You should teach your kid how to survive. When you go to a store, show them the exits. When you go to the mall, show them the exits. Tell them what to do if they get followed home from school. Tell them to always look around when they're walking from school or to school. Always know their surroundings, you know? Just, you know, show them, teach them about safety. That way, you know, they're ready for this kind of stuff. Change, I mean, this always happens in a small town. Nobody expects anything bad to happen, and then it happens, and everybody wants to, to make changes to prevent it from happening, and then it dies down a little bit, and then it happens again, and then we're just, it's a cycle. <laughs>
I just want my baby home. I don't care. I don't care about anything else. I don't care about nothing at all. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She wonders, did her granddaughter suffer in her final moments? But tries to remember her sweet Ellie like this. I love you so much. A video to her dad filmed before this tragedy unfolded. When you go to work, I'll be there for you. I love you, Dad. <laughs> In Uvalde. I'm Adriana Dalb.